Welcome back everyone, John here with you again, J&W Music, and today we're bringing to you the uh, PRS Paul Reed Smith version, uh, their PRS SE, this is the Clint Lowry, uh, the lead guitarist from Seven Dust, so if anybody are Seven Dust fans, uh, you'll know what his signature model looks like and his signature inlays on his PRS model, uh, it does have the of course, kind of standard uh, Paul Reed Smith uh, humbuckers and their uh, kind of stop tail bridge on this one. And like I say, they're three way switch, one volume, one tone. These have the nice kind of bindings. Uh, the horns are a little bit different uh, on this one's kind of elongated and then kind of abruptly uh, stopped compared to some of the others. But there again, if, if we're uh, kind of misquoting things, uh, on these models please let us know in the comments below uh, we do get things wrong and uh, we also always like to learn so we can learn from everybody on YouTube uh, but it does have a 25 and a half inch scale uh, from what we've known from the PRS's and Paul Reed Smith's are normally a uh, 25 inch scale so it's a little bit longer it's not quite a baritone but uh, he does like to play in uh, drop tuning um, the gentleman Clint Lauer from Seven Dust. So what they're saying is that uh, these things get shipped out um, and normal tuning is a, is a drop tuning, kind of a, uh, a B to a C uh, drop tuning. So they're not tuned to standard E, but they're drop tuned to a B uh, to a C tuning. Um, and I guess that uh, helps with that extra half inch in length, even though uh, 25 and a half is more of a standard for the uh, you know Fender style and Ibanez style guitars, uh, where Gibson Epiphones are are more in that 24 and three quarter. But uh, standard as far as the uh, neck, and everything. Of course, this is built in Korea by the World Music Factory. And it's just got the PS PRS uh, die cast closed tuners, their standard neck, standard heel. There again, like I say, if, if the body shape, uh, we believe is just a little bit different than the standard uh, PRS, like custom models and things, but if we've got that wrong, please let us know. Um, but there again, like I said, that kind of their standard heel, that small cutaway uh, to try and get to the upper frets. Uh, everything else is pretty standard. But that real nice guitar, uh, from what we've seen, uh, these were normally going for with their their gig bags uh, for eight hundred dollars, about seven ninety nine new. Um, so like I said, we've got this one in, and it has the factory gig bag that it came with. Uh, we're asking six hundred uh, for this one, but just again, just kind of show everybody what we have to offer. We have kind of an eclectic blend of uh, instruments here, uh, guitars, finishes, makers models here and J and W music so just want to kind of show off uh, the things we have uh, but if anybody's got even even a different PRS uh, another custom model whether it's a Santana or um, you know a custom 22 custom 24 you know we'd love to hear from you love to see uh, you know what you guys are doing with them what style of music you like to play uh, we have seen a lot of professionals that that use the Paul Reed Smith uh, guitars as their you know stage units so um, you know Paul Reed Smith PRS models you know they're here to stay but um, if you like our videos give us a thumbs up uh, we always love that interaction uh, from our viewers and if you'd like to be part of the J&W music family uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button that way the next time you see uh, our videos come out you'll be one of the first ones to know uh, and as always our motto here stop dreaming start playing We'll see you next time.